Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Rabenschild. I'm still building on the ship. It will take ages. <laughs> I have the feeling I'm I'm constantly changing stuff out and I'm remodeling and I'm taking out blocks to get some needed machinery in. So you can see I I don't know if I showed that in the last episode. So refineries are in, more cargo girls in. And I had some discussion in the comments about the jump drives. Some people said I should put in more jump drives to make it able to jump for longer distances. As far as I know, you can't connect them. So... Or would they count as one jump drive if I put them next to each other? We, we might want to test that. Other stuff is I made this room... Um, I made this room sealed so we could go in here and uh, breathe some oxygen. Don't know. Sometimes I do that when I'm... When I'm waiting for stuff to get processed or something like that, just sit down, um, watch some YouTube and don't go into the game. So the character will just sit there and I don't want him to die because of not having enough oxygen. I've put in some more solar panels, some more thrusters and move the ship over to this asteroid to test out the beam drills and the beam drills get at the moment still get all the stone I know that you can specify to not mine stone and I don't know if it doesn't pick up the stone then or if it hmm yeah we why don't we just test that so we can tell him to ignore stone and I don't know if it just doesn't or if it just stops to pick up stone then um, I've done some more work uh, with the drones and we we have to get into that some um, <laughs> oh no one commenter said and I looked him up I know his last name Batzel or B Batzel, Batzel, <laughs> but I don't know if it's Brian, or I. I hope you know <laughs> who I'm talking about, or you yourself made the comment. I should put just more drills on the drones and make the body more sleek, smaller. I. I want to go with relatively small drones. More drills would mean more space used up on the drone. And I want to kind of not do that. So let me basically go to the beam drills. Beam drills. We can go and say uh, 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 priority mining. So we can prioritize the well, one thing, by the way, the autopilot does is it adds functionality to the to the turrets and all that stuff. It seems that you can see that you can add show the lasers of the of the cannons and if it should destroy blocks or something like that. Um, nice stuff all the things we will have to test out so with the priority mining can we go and set it somewhere here no here we can set the color of the collect stone okay so we can just say uh, targets uh, destruction of stone while mining Ooh, okay we will turn this off I don't want to have more and more stone in the system so if we can just turn that off and have it not mine stone that would be neat 
I thought you could just set it in the beam drill turret, but there's only the priority mining where you can say, okay, I want you to first mine this, then that. Hmm, good. By not having it pick up stone, we can get rid of that. Because I had to add another of the, you can see that, the things that throw out stone. But I constantly have to turn off the nanites then. The nanites uh, ability to pick up stuff. And I don't want to do that anymore. I want to keep the nanites running and I want the pickup because when I destroy stuff, or not destroy, when I grind down stuff again and then put it up and grind it down again, sometimes my inventory gets very, very full. And so I want the nanites to pick up stuff and they do that with a stone too. So here I can't say don't pick up stone and it's, it's funny i need another thing we need to test and we will do that this week is if the autopilot and we will put an autopilot on this ship too if the autopilot can really go and face go and have certain um solar panels really face the sun you can say and uh, I'm running back and forth now. You can go and say solar panels should face the sun. And we will have to test that. I'm not sure if it can do that without the autopilot block. And I will, will just add one. Because then I could set it up and say um, the ship needs to be stationary for now. I want to... Because don't know we are building something somewhere or i'm just sitting somewhere and i'm waiting for ores being refined so if i'm just in free space i could turn that on and then have the solar panels constantly face towards the sun that that would be neat then i might just have to add one layer of solar panels on the top and don't have to put some on the bottom if these solar man today's today's not a good day <laughs> I have the feeling oh i'm i'm slurring my words here so if the solar panels could constantly face the sun then the oxygen farms would also do that and i wouldn't have to put some on the bottom or so I also need space to add batteries. The, the batteries still pose a problem for me because they still don't do what I would like them to do. I would like them to stay basically off as long as there's enough energy. At the moment, even with this... this um, this automatic mode that the batteries themselves bring with them, they basically go and charge up, charge up, then work until they are empty, charge up. And I want to stay them, I want to have them stay idle. So as long as there is enough energy from the solar panels or something like that, I would like to have them stay idle, wait for times where they are basically needed. And this is maybe, oh, or I'm maybe only able to do that with a script. I'm, you all know that I'm not the biggest fan of scripts, although the autopilot uses them too. Hmm. <clears throat> it is... <laughs> it's a hard thing with the with the batteries because they they are cool but I would like them to be just for moments where there's not enough solar power or not enough energy in the in the reactors so that I have a that I have a backup that I can work with so the the energy completely goes down okay the the then the batteries kick in and we can 
work with them. Good. Uh, I wanted to turn on the beam drills and see if they, if they get or still get stone. Where is our cockpit? There. So, at the moment, see, they shouldn't mine... They shouldn't mine the stone. Maybe they are not doing that. It seems they are not doing that, so... Ah. Or is it getting pulled out so fast that I can't see that? There's no stone added to this. So, <laughs> there's no stone added to this. And there's the conveyor sorter putting through the stone into the connector. Here is stone added, but I think it's coming from here. So... Hmm. I hope it works. We will wait until the whole stone thing is empty. And then we might see the effect of that. One thing I have to say is that the, the beam drills also take a lot of energy. So my whole system is eating through, through large amounts of uranium. And I think we will go and fly to an asteroid that gives us <laughs> uranium and we might want to pick that clean before we go into using the beam drills more and more so i should do that with drones or with mining ships that would be the easiest way i think but it looks good i i still really really like the the beam drills they they are an, a, a really amazing addition to the whole, to the whole thing. At the moment, they are going for this iron. One thing I also want to test is having them put onto the ice, and we have a lot of oxygen at the moment. I I'm not filling up this room here. That um, see. <laughs> Uh, empty immediately is this one using the conveyor system yes i have i have them set up to use the conveyor system here you could you could see the uranium going down in here this one might not do that because i think this is the the reactor that pulls in the uranium that still comes in. I have still some uranium in the system that gets processed. But, hmm. This is energy problems. This is one big thing I have with the... Why did they turn off? Oh, not enough energy. See that? This is just crazy. I... I warned Nathan about that. Nathan um, is working with the Nanites too. Uh, Nathan from Nathan Sandbox. You, you all, I think, know him. And he's working with the Nanites at the moment to mine. And I warned him about that, that the Nanites also pull in, uh, uh, yeah, pull all the uranium from your system, basically. And it's uh, it's crazy. See, th th this basically would be one of the things where the where the batteries then should kick in, take over for a while, as long as I'm mining or something like that, and then I can switch back, or the system automatically does it. That that would be neat because then I could fill them up with the solar panels, and could use the solar panels to yeah could use the solar panels to fill the batteries up and when there are energy spikes then 
the batteries kick in, but they, they don't do that. So, uh, the next thing is the autopilot. One thing I also want to see is what is missing here? What is missing? Construction components, motors. I really need to take. Oh, that was a big leg spike. I really need to take a look at the at the assemblers I have in here. Do I have them in here? Yes. And see what they produce. Oh, there's not enough iron in the system. I need to change that up. So let me put some iron into the system and then we build the autopilot and see how this facing the sun works. Okay, now there's iron being processed and there's iron in the assembler so everything can start up again. Gravel is completely overtaking my system. The gravel don't know the the refineries put the gravel into every nook and cranny of the ship that they can find the nanite control factories were full with gravel and the the assembler was also full with gravel i that's why i definitely need to get rid of the stone so autopilot for this ship where should we put it I want to have it for now. I will put it somewhere where we can reach it, I would say. Let me just put it in the front. And then is that the right thing to do? I hope. Uh, let me wait until it is made and then we take a look at it. Good, the autopilot is finished. Took a while. I had no cobalt in the system and I had to bring in the Duchessa to, to uh, yeah, hopefully have some cobalt for me so I can finish some stuff here. This welded up nicely. I can put in more solar panels there and I will just pick one of the solar panels I have on here and say turn that into the sun i hope that's how that works i'm i'm not sure but we will see solar panel just the first one face the sun and now the question is does it automatically do that when it gets let me see i will just turn the ship away from the sun i've put in a, a remote control too so we can just steer that from the outside and don't have to worry about all this jazz here okay so now it's definitely not turned into the sun and if we now release it, it should turn the thing into the sun. I don't know if it is supposed to work that way. Let me see if the autopilot block has some options. Don't know. Maybe if we turn on the arms autopilot. No, because it has no things to do. Hmm. Does not have control of the ship. Oh yeah, because we are using a uh, we are using the control block so or the remote control. Let me see what it does now. Okay, this doesn't work as thought so hmm I think I will go and do a bit more work in the next until the next episode I would say um, this one is long enough now and 
And I really want to end it now. So in the next episode, we hopefully see that this thing turns into the sun on its own. Hopefully. <laughs> and we will see how that works out. Good people. Uh, I would say until Wednesday and I will try to figure out how this stuff works.